Hello, my brothers and sisters, grace and peace be unto you, be unto you this day. Um, this is Brother West, and I will say that um, welcome to um, the Ernest West Ministries. And uh, there is a word, there is a word that that keeps ringing in my spirit. There's a word that keeps echoing in my spirit, the same word all day. And that word has been indecisive indecisive so, some who are listening to me this is a word prophetically this is a word of knowledge uh, some of you um, who are listening to me you're at a place where you're at wits you're at wits end it's like you, your, your mind has been pulled in every direction like 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 how someone would pull the hair be pulling the hair out just pulling the hair this is how your thoughts are being scattered back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and and you're indecisive. Can't make a decision. You get right there, you, put, you get right there, then once you get there, you can't do it. Can't do it. And so, I want to pray for you. Ma'am, I want to pray for you, sir. And see, the stem, and like I did the video earlier, what stems from a person being undecisive is hurt some kind of pain, some kind of rejection, some kind of scar. And from that scar, from that hurt, from that from, from that pain, there there's a voice. And so many of you have many voices in different directions. There are many voices talking to you because those voices are uh, things that hadn't been, um, um, uh, what's the word, um, you hadn't received closure, hadn't received your healing. And because you hadn't received your closure and hadn't received your healing, the voice keep talking to you. Keep talking to you. Telling you the, the negative. You should have done this. You see? And anytime you get to a place where it feels like you're trying to come out of it and get a healing, uh, that voice, that stronghold will pull you back and say, oh, see, nah, don't do it. Don't trust it. And so your relationship is with your hurt. Your relationship is with your hurt. It's with your, uh, your, your, your pain. Because those are the things that you, that has your attention. All the negative stuff, that's where your relationship is at. But God want to hear you. God, hear what I'm saying. He wants to heal you. Hear what I'm saying? And so, and what I want to do, I want to, uh, I want to pray for them. Indecisiveness. I'm so to the James 3, uh, 1, 9, 1 and 8 says that a double-minded man, what it comes down to is being double-minded. Your mind being split. And the scripture says that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. See, when you're unstable, then there's no there's there's no stability. There's no uh, assurity that, that uh, you're going to do a certain thing because you don't know what you're going to do. You don't know what you're going to say. Because there's not a voice down in you that's your foundation that's speaking to you and telling you what's right and what's wrong. That's your conscience. And so this is why you need to get a little closer. Get a little closer to God. Get a little closer to his word. Get a little closer to love. And the more you get a little closer to God, the more closer to love is like being in a mirror reflection. There's a reflection. You'll see a reflection of yourself. And that word will shine all your impurities and things that are undone. He'll fix it. And when you see it, it's not for you to fix it. Keep, keep trusting Keep being you, but let him give it to him. And he will give you the ability. He will, give, he will take the taste out of your mouth. He will take the addiction away from you. But you must give it to him. You must give it to him. See, because many of you, you have unforgiveness in your heart. And because you have unforgiveness in your heart, then you are, you're wondering. You're hurt. Any little thing will get you going. But you need God. You need healing from your hurt. Let's pray. Father God. In Jesus' name, God, I thank you. God, for this is the day that you made. God, we shall rejoice and be glad in it, God, for those that are in a valid decision where their brain, their mind, their direction is scattered. God, give them a compass. God, give them stability. God, give them a focus. See, the problem did not focus. Something that took the focus. Something that took the direction. Something that took their heart. Something that took their attention. But God, 
give it back to them again. God, only you can do it. God, you can cause that joy to awaken. You can cause that focus to awaken. You can cause it. And, 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 and what's going on with them? You can break it. You can break that situation right now. You can break that curse right now. You can break that relationship, that ungodly soul tie, that connection. You can break it. You're pulling it. And all they have to do is just cry out to you. And God, I hear a cry right now, God. They're crying out for change. They are crying out. God, deliver them. God, deliver them. God, deliver him. God, deliver her. God, for your glory. God, we thank you, God. We thank you for healing. God, because the healing is the children's bread. God, speak. God, speak into their spirit right now, God. God, let them know that all is well. God, let them know that it's going to be okay. But they got to stay focused and, and, and stay calm in their spirit. And in their calmness, when all around is, is raging noise, in their calmness, you will speak to them. In their calmness, God, you give them a direction. You will give them the wisdom on how to respond. Not to react, but to respond on what to say, what not to say. God, you'll cause their speech to be seasoned with salt. Knowing what to say, when to say it. And that is the first thing they must empty out their mind and come to you. You say, come unto me all you the weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. To all the weary, come to them now and your rest is waiting for you. To all to the weary, come now and your rest, your reservation with rest is waiting on you now. God, we thank you for the rest. You told us to labor to end into it. God, we thank you. God, you're causing the rest to come. God, you're causing rest to rest upon their minds, rest upon their homes, rest upon their, their, their imagination like a do, like the do that refreshes, that revives. God, renew. God, refresh. God, revive. God, you're doing a new thing in them now. And God, we thank you for it now. And we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Is that all right? God bless you.